I cannot wait to show you what is in this box. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing fantastic. I'm pumped. Pumped about today. Pumped about what's going to be happening in the next foreseeable future. I'm excited just to have you here hanging out in the shop today. Thank you for being here. Before we get into that, let me show you something here. We are 100% talking about a new axe model today. That's what this entire video is about. But quickly, let me show you something before we get into that. Check this out. I have all of these in stock, ready to ship. I keep forgetting to talk about these are the ones that we restored at Christmas. They're old axes. Check it out. This is a little Sandvik on a 16 inch handle. One and three quarter pound, beautiful little ax. Hickory handle, walnut wedge on everything here. You know the story. Vintage finish, I don't know what we call that. It's a little special recipe we made up with our Odie's oil. Handle is awesome. This little Swedish ax, I don't know if you can see that made in Sweden there. 24 inch handle on that one. This is the uh, Collins and Company ax head. Super honest, 36 inch handle on that one. 36 inch handle on this one. This is the uh, Collins and Company. And this is the, uh, I think it's a rafter style ax head. And I blued this one. This one, I, I love this guy. It's a smart, it's a heavy short guy. Look at the profile on that bad boy. Very thin at the front, but if you wedge that into a piece, it'll crack it open because it's so fat at the back. That one also is gun blued just to give that nice little finish. And then, haha, this one, you've never seen this one before. Not. This is the, uh, the Hudson Bay. This is from the 1919 train rail. This is one of the last ones I have. I think I have four left or five. And then that's going to be it. I'm so sad. This was the very first axe model that we launched on YouTube. But this was the one that set us off into this crazy world we've been in. So anyways, if you want one of those available on the website. And here's a crazy idea. Just because it's Monday, I love Mondays. Pound in the week. Optimistic of just crushing it. Maybe your Monday's not like that. That's what I think about Monday. I wanted to add a little extra something. Let's go see if we can find it. Where did I leave them? Oh yeah, here we go. This is the bottle opener that I make. Developed this last year, so you put your bottle in here. It's got the lip around it, so you can pull your lid off 360 degrees any way you want. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking anybody who buys an axe, pre-order or orders one, until those bottle openers are done, I don't know how many are in there, maybe 20 or so, you get one with your ax. Little Sandvik, nestle that in there. Hey Martin, can you throw me another one? Thank you. Look at that, you put it right there. Oh yeah, beautiful. There we go, that's it. But wait, there's more. If you order in the next five minutes, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So that's available on the website. Let's get into this new ax model right now. Okay, I have something to confess. It wasn't that heavy. I was just being a little bit over dramatic in the intro. So uh, I actually forgot to tell you that this axe is available too. It's a Welland Vale Black Prince True Temper, BC government issue. Anyways. Ooh, 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 I can already see what's inside. Check this out. Oh. Oh my goodness, look at this, look at this. That is our new handle, oh careful Tim, the new handle for the new Black Hawk Axe. Oh, I'm so excited about this day. Sorry, it's just so genuine, we have been waiting a very long time to launch into this project. Let me tell you what we're thinking. So we've been making all our handles up to this point. And honestly, the way we've been doing it has been working, but it's not a very good, I don't wanna say production line assembly, but it takes a lot of time. It's expensive. So I was starting to look at different options for handles, whether I should buy a machine or what I should do. 
And then Liam Hoffman announces that he is going to start offering handles for wholesale. Liam needs no introduction. He's the number one axe maker in the world right now. And he has taken on a huge investment in setting up to be able to produce these handles wholesale. Hey, this is not, disclaimer, this is not an integration or sponsorship by Liam. I bought these. This is a great product. I'm going to use them on my axe because this is the best axe handle being made today. That's how I feel about it, just honestly. So this handle is from Liam. We're going to start using these on the new axe model today, which we're talking about the Blackhawk axe, but also this is the 19 inch version he offers. I think he's going to offer this on his website. You can take a look at that if you're interested in buying one for your axe restoration or axe project. Um, this is 19 inch and this is going to be going on the Blackhawk hatchet. Why am I telling you this all? Because this is going to be the backbone to the Blackhawk axe. So this is the current Blackhawk hatchet. This is a 16 inch handle on it, but what we're doing is we're gonna now be putting this 19 inch handle on it from Liam. It's sort of just a natural progression for us to just keep changing and shifting. The head on these is big enough and heavy enough that the 19 is gonna be a beautiful, a beautiful fit all around. I'm just trying to show you here. Actually, a better way to show you is like this, I guess, sort of. So you can just see it's a little bit longer. I think it's gonna be a beautiful hatchet or small ax, if you will. We're gonna finish this handle just like this. So it's gonna look just like this one, except with this handle. So what we're gonna do is, we are gonna make the Blackhawk hatchet on steroids. And we're gonna call it the Blackhawk ax. And this is the closest I can show you to what I'm thinking. So this is the, um, one of the axes I made for Buck and Billy Ray last year, and it was too light. For him, he likes a big axe, heavy, heavy, heavy. And I'm thinking this is going to be similar size to the Blackhawk axe for the, everything goes well, a little bit lighter, but we're going to make it look like this in here. So we are going to start today into building all the tooling to be able to make this under the upsetter and the power hammer. Press that on, do the whole nine yards. Going to be a long, I don't, I don't know how long this series is going to be. We're just going to start today and go as fast as we can. I'm currently thinking about trying to keep relatively close to the daily upload. So hopefully you like that. You can check in and see how the work is going every day. I'm going to also take another huge thing that I've never done before. Feel a little bit nervous, but no, I don't feel nervous. I'm excited about it. I'm actually opening up the pre-order for the Blackhawk Axe. This is totally you deciding to trust me that I can carry through with the product, the setting this thing up, making it and delivering it. These are gonna be made from the 1919 train rail starting at serial number two because I'm keeping number one. So if you feel like that's of value to you, you wanna get the early serial numbers, head over to my website, check it out. There's not gonna be a picture of the finished axe because it's not done yet. And I don't know what the timeline is, so if you're looking for a rush timeline, grab something that I have in stock. But if the value is of getting one of the first Black Eye Axes for me, this is your opportunity. Let's get into the tooling, guys. I'm super excited about this. Here we go. I'm just totally ticked off at myself because I didn't give myself enough material here. I just want 
this to be a little bit longer and because this is so important for this drift, I gotta redo that. It's super disappointing, but uh, I'll still use that material down the road because it's expensive. It's S7 tool steel. Get another one in the forge here. This hammer, every day I run it, it gets a little bit better. And today, oh, I was starting to feel fluid right off the top. It feels sticky still. If you haven't seen the rebuild video series I did, we just rebuilt the whole front end of this thing. I think it's just loosening up a little bit, so that's encouraging. So this is S7 tool steel and it's gnarly. That's why it took forever to compress it under the hammer. So this was the first one that I did. That was the first one, so you can see I just added a bit more length to it. I think we're just going to do a prep day because the cool down time is just horrendous on that big chunk of steel. I'm going to start working on my slitter, my drift. Spent a bunch of time going through, thinking through all the tooling that I got to make on the upsetter, figuring that out, dimensions and stuff. So we're going to head over to the bandsaw and start cutting some stuff. <laughs> People always say more Martin. He's leaving. He's leaving. Hey guys, it's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow we're picking it up, machining, forging, grinding, all these things. If you want an axe, take a look at my website. If you want to pre-order one of these bad boys, the Blackhawk axe, take a look at that. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, keep the forge lit, eh? Over and out.